Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Good. Good evening. Hope you're all well and enjoying whatever you're doing, making, building, or putting together. Do the draw for the giveaway in a minute. And we'll use the bingo machine tonight because there is enough room on my bench now for the bingo machine. Whoopie do. Firstly, let me just put this over here a minute. Firstly, FX 1 in 32 scale Hannah Mag. Remember the one with all that nasty white paint all over it? Took me a considerable time to get the paint off. Some places it came off quite easy. Other places it was stuck like shit to a blanket, literally. I noticed when I was cleaning this off, it's not that it makes any difference, you understand, but different color plastic to the other two. They change colors on the plastic. Little bit on the inside, there's just there's no way it's going to come off, but I can get around that, that's no problem, because I'm possibly going to put a different piece of floor in that anyway. Now I've been looking at Hannah Mags online, and the nearest I can sort of base this on is the D version, but um, the D version sort of had the straight sides like that, but it didn't have four um, <coughs> bins on the side, it only had three. I've not seen any picture of a Hannah Mag anywhere, and I've looked at a lot, that had four boxes on the side so that's wrong but even if you equate this to a, a D version there's it's, it's still a few things wrong with it but bearing in mind this is only made for kids so they're not going to quibble about oh that's wrong or this is not right they're just going to take it out of the box sling the box and sort of play with it it's only us older people would look at it and say, well, yeah, that's not right. And yeah, that could be different. Yeah, so even if I set this as a D version and change the side so I can get three bins on it, which would be quite easily done, it's still not right there. If you look at a D version, it's still not right there. But it could be a nice model. So what I've decided I'm going to do is I'm going to cut. Let me move it around. Cut the whole side out and make it go in the same angle as that and then put three bins in there. So we'll do that. And that piece there on the front, that should be the same angle as, um, can you see that? Should be the same angle as that there, if you can just see that. That should be the same angle as that, which is the same angle as sort of that. It should all be that angle. Because this is, yeah, it looks sort of based on a D version, but it, it, it's sort of neither one thing to the other, really. It's a very basic representation of a Hannah Mag. But to me, it's, it's not right. 
I, I, I thought about it, thought if you've made a nice job of all your miniatures, be that British Airborne, be that Germans, whatever, it would be a shame to put something like that on the table. Which is, alright, you might have sprayed it up and painted it and so forth, but it, it would it would just be a shame. It would, it would let down all the rest of the work, so to speak. So anyway, that's what I decided we're going to do. One of the worst things was getting the paint off these tyres. It made the tyres go very sticky and very tacky, the paint. And it was, that's as best as I can sort of do it, get them paint off. They're not too bad now. The only thing I couldn't do, I couldn't get the wheels off the axle. And I didn't want to force the issue too much. I sanded the axle. I didn't want to force the issue too much because you've got to bear in mind this model's from the 1970s. The plastic could be a bit brittle by now. I didn't want to risk breaking the wheels. So I just sanded all the axle that I could see and left it at that. But it's not too bad. And I, of course, took out those roller wheels there. So, get rid of them. And I searched in the spares box and I found some propane machine guns. So that's no problem. If I never had any in the spares box, I would have found them here somewhere in the stash pile. Those. I'm sure I got boxes of German infantry weapons somewhere. I could have plummeted for them. But that's what we're going to do anyway. Cut those. Oh, throwing it around. Cut those sides out. Make it go back at an angle, like it should be. Then put three bins on it. Equipment bins. That should look a good, a good, a good model. I also cut a bit of that out so I can get a driver in there because there's no obviously no room for his legs. So I'll cut some of that out and put a steering wheel in there or something and. Get a bit of something, be able to make it look a bit more authentic. Give it a spray up. Should look pretty good. Should they all three of them should look pretty good. So that's what we're gonna do with that. Let me move this out of the way here a minute. Get this over here a minute. We can do the giveaway. Four of you in the draw tonight. If I've missed anybody, forgive me. I've checked the comments two or three times. I don't think I've missed anybody, but if I have, forgive me. But four of you in the draw. Put that over here a minute. One pack red sable paintbrushes. Never have too many paintbrushes. Sable being the best of the best. So let's get the bingo machine out. Let's see if I can get this moved around so you can see the bingo machine. Yeah, there you go. Right, four of you in the draw. You all know who you are. Yeah, one number out. Who's out first? Number one. Who is number one? A quote from a famous TV program. Who is number one? Name that program. Mark's channel. 
Mark's channel. Well done, Mark's channel. You have won yourself a nice packet of sable paintbrushes. Well done, Mark's channel. I'll leave the email address down the bottom in the link below because I don't have your address. So email me your address. I will get them in the mail to you. Well done. That's it. That's it's me done. I'm going to finish my tea. Um, probably go to bed actually. Yeah, that's me done. Thanks for all your comments. If you subscribed recently, thank you very much. Um, yeah, not really a lot else to say actually. Um, no, that's it. Thanks for your comments. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the people that are enter entered tonight. Um, have a good week. See you on the next one.